what up y'all back today i wanted to tell you happy new year it's new year's eve and uh new year's right around the corner so we need to uh have our guard up and be grinding this year because we don't want to go backwards like we've done in the past right we're, we're we're um we're on a steady march forward you know and to be the best version of ourselves right to be our 2.0 okay and that's really why in a lot of ways god sent the narcissist into your life and allowed these things to happen is it was to uh to uh keep you you know you know when you have the um the military reserves or or you got that brigade that's coming in and you got them soldiers that are just ragtag and worn out well you know a lot of times you know god hides his chosen you know he 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 hides a a, a certain uh brigade of individuals you know he, he he protects them uh by uh uh you know uh, allowing them to be seen by the world and to go through the things of the world and to be uh distracted by the world deceived by the world you know and uh and to be born into this world in families that are corrupted you know uh but uh you know only for a time because you know his uh he's the shepherd right and, and we are the, his sheep right and uh and, uh, and a lot of times he turns us into lions, you know? And so we gotta be, uh, you know, uh, it's to say that, you know, to be a, a sheep and a lion is to be humble, um, but to also be able to uh, stand on your own two feet, to uh, walk in independence, knowing that nobody has got, got, got uh, a hold on you, okay? That you're, you're in control but you're not in control. See, the narcissist always wants to complete control and uh, and that's what they're about, right? Because they had a, a risky uh, childhood and, and they didn't have the ability to have control of their life as, as a um, toddler, a young person. And so what, what, what has happened to them is they have over overcompensated. Um, our independence, we, we put in the Lord okay and and the lord shines and shows through you know because when your heart's right the lord comes to you when your heart's right the lord will uh show up he may let you get beat up for a time but that's really our own fault because we weren't heeding the call earlier you know but now we're heeding the call now we've woken up now like it says you know that he's taking the scales off of your eyes so you can really see okay and, and when you can really truly see then you're not um, caught up in the debacle of the narcissist and the, these, the, the ways and the things of this world, okay? And so what happened with the narcissist is, is that early on they had, uh, uh, they didn't have independence, right? And so they, they um, just like all of us had the ability to um, choose, you know, which pathway we wanted to take, you know? And like I said, I believe innately we are who we are and we're just walking out our truth, um, or the, the truth of who we are because, you know, the narcissist has no truth in them. So they're just walking out their lie, which is their truth. <laughs> their truth is they're a lie. Um, and, and, and it is unfortunate, you know, but we can't get caught up in that, you know, as empaths, you know, we have to save, what did I say? I said in the past podcast, you have to save your empathy, empathy for, um, people that it's worth, you know, I mean, it, you know, it, 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 you know, uh, when people talk about, you know, people, you know, you're, you're worth your weight in gold or, you know, and they're, and they're talking about because of the efforts that you put in and, and, um, and, and you know, you cannot put work in, uh, where you're not going to see some sort of a, uh, a reward, you know, to some degree, um, to some degree, uh, you want to, um, uh, you want to, uh, 
plant your seeds where you know they're going to have a good harvest and and the same thing with your labor your work and and your love you know that is your true essence of who you are and when you give that up you know to people freely and i mean freely because you know we're naive and 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 we're uh just throwing it around see that's the thing you know that is our essence and and pieces of our soul and that does affect uh us as an individual and as a spirit being in in a human avatar seriously and so i think we grew up with the uh the thought in mind that you know we can just love others help others and and they'll uh just do the same back to us regardless and what we have found and what we realize is that there was a lot of folly in that there was a lot of uh simple thinking right we're supposed to be prudent you know, we don't want to be pompous. We don't want to be, we don't want to be simple either. And that's why we got to be, uh, have a mind that is uh, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And all that getting, get understanding. Understanding is awareness. Okay, it's awareness of um, these are the things I went through and these are the follies that I had in my life and I'm not going to repeat them again. Why? Because I have understanding. Why? Because it didn't work before. And that's what I've gotten. That's the knowledge and the understanding that I've gotten. Understanding is, so the knowledge is to, to, to get it, okay? But the, the understanding is, is, is I've experienced it, okay? And, and then to have wisdom is to walk in the uh, the knowledge and the understanding of the experience. Or, or you know, or, or the reason why I won't walk down that experience again. I've experienced bad and I'm not going to do that again because it doesn't have a good result. Okay, and, and that's what happened with the narcissist. I mean, we've been, you know, uh, and that's how we, you know, God woke us up a lot of times because the trauma that came with us just giving our love and our, our gifts freely to others, you know, and that's the thing. We have also learned that evil people like to steal your traits and use them for themselves and, and they want to steal your energy and they want to convert it to evil. So when you're just throwing your, your uh, life force energy around, you're not helping humanity. You're not helping yourself. Because like I said before, in fact, you're gonna make it worse for everybody because they're gonna take your energy and they're gonna um, convert it to evil. They're gonna destroy you with it and then they're gonna go out and destroy whoever else is good in this world with it. And they're gonna bring the whole vibration of the world system down. And, and truly, we are here to raise that vibration. You know, whether you're a biblical individual or not, it does make sense that we do have vibration okay and um and so that's why in this world today it is so negative at this point in time it's so negative and, and people are hating each other and they can't even understand love anymore and and empathy and engaging with humanity because they have gotten so grown so cold and so uh and and so uh weak in empathy and so impotent in empathy that they uh just don't even understand what it is about in fact they've gotten to a point to where they have to fake it they have to watch movies and fake it y'all and that's what we were with and that is truly a hollow uh soulless individual um you know we're talking about somebody who cannot feel love they cannot feel empathy. They cannot engage with humanity. That's why they created this fictitious life of theirs where they had to come up with some sort of, you know, other alternative reality. And that's what happens with them. They, 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 they then build this construct where they are the superhero and, and they're grandiose. And, and, you know, because they cannot connect with us, you know, um, it's either... They have a problem but we have a problem and you know the way their mind goes is is that you know of course they can't have a problem so then we become the problem we become the the issue we become uh the dysfunction we become the reason why their life has turned out the way it has if it's if it's negative um and also that we don't mean anything because they have no respect for you um, but they also have no truth in themselves, okay? And so there is no redemption for that uh, unless, you know, these individuals decide to turn from their evil ways. But unfortunately for them, 
uh, the, 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 uh, over the horizon here is not, doesn't look too good. I mean, it just, that looks like they're completely fixed and, and they, they, they truly seem to be. I mean, I say seem to be because, um, I don't want to be the one to personally damn individuals with my speech, but, uh, it does look as though that there is no coming back from this. Like they have seared their heart and their mind, man. And, and, it, and it does show on these MRIs and things that, that these people cannot, uh, love that these, these centers of the uh, ability to function in, in a loving way has been seared. It is not there on the monitors. It's not there under, uh, magnetic Renaissance imaging an MRI or, you know, so, uh, and trust me, man, I've seen enough MRIs. I'm in the medical field, <laughs> but, uh, and I'm in that, that field, um, the field of the, the brain, the function of the brain. So I don't want to get too many detail, uh, because I am not a, a licensed professional as far as, uh, you know, being an MD and, uh, or a psychotherapist, but this stuff is true. And, uh, and when you've experienced it for a good part of your life, man, and then you feel like, you know, you have been dealing with the same spirit or individual that is been jumping from one person to another, one girlfriend to another, one, uh, uh, you know, female to another from starting with your mother, um, or, you know, whatever it's, it's like they're on a similar track and they just continue to get worse as you get older uh, because, well, two things. I mean, narcissists continue to get worse as they get older and psychopaths and sociopaths, but they also, um, the enemy is going to send them, them a, a, a stronger one. And you are, listen, you are being tracked by familiar spirits. Um, monitoring familiar spirits. Trust me, I, I have dealt with it. And it is not at all. When people talk a lot of times on gang stalking, some of that is um, maybe, you know, in the physical where the narcissist would pay somebody or whatever uh, to follow you around for intimidation or just to check on you, whatever. But generally speaking, that is not anything that if the narcissist is in that avatar or that body anymore, um, which I do think they're in there somewhere jailed up. That's that's what the construct seems to tell us. Um, if you read into it enough, you've read up enough on it. But also um, that they are uh, not not the ones that that are jumping in these individuals to follow you, I mean, and, and they don't look like humanity when they're staring at you following you around. Trust me, this, it's a spiritual orchestration at that point, uh, generally speaking. Um, but, uh, and the stares that they give you and the grin, the grin. But uh, I don't want to take too much of your time up. Uh, I just want to say happy, happy new year. And um, don't, uh, don't be concerned about the narcissist as far as uh, letting them get you down anymore because they were never in your life to love you. They were never in your life to have a relationship with you. They were never in your life to um, respect you, to give you any sort of truth. They were never in your life to, uh, to, to help propel you into your future in, in a good and wholesome way, in a way that was going to be fruitful. Every fruit, every piece of fruit that you handed them, they either turned it to fungus or they converted it in their uh, narcissistic factory into an evil uh, energy and fuel and they destroyed you with your own energy and went out with the rest of it and destroyed other individuals and then came back and washed their hands and asked for more. So in 2024 we ain't effing with the narcissists. Okay we're walking in independence and our own security and uh we live we leave the control up to the almighty but we can uh we can also operate with the understanding and the knowledge and the wisdom that we do have and walk in that 
uh, that is a uh, an anointing, you know, to operate in and, and be functional without the dis in front of it. Okay, that's an anointing, and a lot of people can't do that these days. Just just doing that, man, they can't even function in reality. But never, never get yourself out of the reality. Because when you get out of reality is where you get deceived. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, the narcissist fantasy world, um, any kind of porn, uh, or I should say porn. <laughs> well, there goes the ocular rhythm. But uh, anyway, so, you know, keep in mind, uh, stand tall, sold you up. Peace out. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Peace. <laughs>